I already like what I'm seeing. One of the these characters has a robot arm. Um, I thought this was gonna be a historically historically accurate game, not. Well, then again, I don't know what to expect. I don't really know anything about Rise of the Ronin. All I know is that I went to Japan and I bought a copy of what is called the Z version. Whatever that is, I don't actually know. But here we are. We have a copy of Rise of the Ronin, Z version, and... Is the only PlayStation exclusive? Nope, yelling child. Um, people flooding over money. Guns. A lot of guns shooting farmers. Ah, white people. Is that the like, fucking Shinsengumi from, from, uh, from, from Days Gone Pass? That was a, that was a great ending shot. That's a great, great ending shot. So, I've made characters, but I'm not going to use them. We're going to restart. I've only literally just started, so it was like... Um, and because because the, the, the game takes place in, in Japan... Oh, skip cutscene. Character of the cutscene, proto goddess or previous character. Scene cutscene only. Skip cutscene off. Add allies automatically. Number of load. What? Oh boy. Add allies automatically. There's so much, so much here. All right. Um, is that blood? Blood setting standard or low? Show headgear. Oh, all right. Um, we've obviously set this for uh, Japanese because the game takes place in Japan. I'm going to make the subtitles a little bit bigger. And uh, we're going for uh, prioritized FPS. I know, like, uh, I know games are very playable at 30, but we're going to prioritize frame rate and see if we can hit, a, hit 60, you know? Um, Alright, difficulties are story, normal, or are you insane? Let's go Dusk. Uh, Rise of the Road is a fictional story that takes inspiration from the time of expansion in Japanese history. Throughout the gaming journey of the- Come on, I'm not done yet. Uh, I hate it when games do that. Let, let me finish reading. I guess it's, 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 it's topical. We are watching Shogun at the moment, and Shogun's really good. Oh, Bert attacking civilians. Very nice. I think when this game first was first announced, I saw this and I was like, Are they? Is Ubisoft finally pulling the, you know, Assassin's Creed Japan thing? And I don't know. It was, it, I mean, it was it wasn't obviously. It was Koi Tecmo, and it was not Neo, right? So that's gonna be not demons. Oh. Yep. Throw those bodies in the furnace. Well, oh. well, good thing uh, all people and women are not spared. Mm. I guess children are not spared either. Oh, scorpion. And old lady. So these like veiled edges, they are like ninjas? 
人一組で育てられる Goddamn grandma. Matt skills. And, and now those kids are on fire. Right, so I definitely didn't know anything about the game until until we and when I got to this bit I was like Oh, you have to make characters. And then you. Wait, no, you have to make two characters. So, what we're gonna do is, of course, they are supposed to be twins. So, so, uh, look at this white woman. Um, we're gonna make them extremely similar to each other. Is that jury from. No, it's fucking Makito. <laughs> um,. We're gonna make them very similar to each other, right? But in a way that they're still like distinctively different. Uh, and if you you know if you want to skip the uh, skip the character creator, you, I'll put a little timestamp. But uh, it's Ashley. But as we go, we'll make like two relatively Asian-looking girls. And yes, they'll both be girls. We'll have the. Uh, the Blade Sisters. Um, so Leon's hair. I I quite like the look of this face. So we'll, we'll pick this. Elbow and knee angle. I don't know what what is the difference. Compare with previous. Huh. Oh, it's just how bent your elbows are. Alright, one's elbows is gonna be so bent and the other one's gonna be like... It's gonna be like, um, not bent. See, they, they look slightly different, you know? So one has type 1, one will be type 2. Undergarment type. Oh no, does this game have nudity? Um, additional controls? Alright. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just trousers or, trousers or briefs. They're nice girls, they wear briefs. Bald. Okay. Yeah, this is good for one side. Gonna meadow the face a little. Forehead depth. I always do their hair first because, like, the hair is like the most prominent one. Oh, now that I kind of look at it, I don't really like the, f don't really like the, uh, uh, the face very much. It's just too friendly. Is there like a little angrier face? You know. You know what? We'll, we'll mess with the first. We'll mess with the first face. Base hair. Of course, they're both gonna be uh, uh, short hair waifus. Oh, I quite like this one. Looks very um, looks very aggressive. You know what? That's what we're going for. We're going for this one. Can't really do much. Hair tips. Oh! Oh, that's good. Cover the eyebrows. Curliness. Combined adjustments. Holy crap, what is happening to the hair? <laughs> Let's not mess with that. Alright, uh, highlights. Let's put highlights on. Both will have black hair, but one will have blue highlights and one will have red highlights. I've got some custom colors stored, but yeah. Highlight the tip color. Um, 
What the hell? Colored tips. Red. It's just too red though. Okay, maybe the highlights, no highlights, they're just colored tips. Uh, base hair color black. Uh, iris and pupils. Oh, we did this the last time as well. So, uh, they have they have heterochromia. One eye is blue, and one eye is green, but. But the other the other character has different type of heterochromia, you know. So the other eye, their their blue and greens are, are flipped. That's how that's how edgy we're making it. Um, eyeliner, eyeshadow. I was thinking maybe like a little bit of eyeshadow at the bottom. See, like that, and then uh, she can have like the uh, the red one. Maybe a little darker red. Facial markings. You can give them scars or like, or like, um, you know, tattoos on the face. Some of them are a bit much, I'll admit. have this is it actually on her forehead little three paints on the side I think that I think that's kind of cute let's just drop that opacity down uh yeah I don't think I, I don't think so Maybe a mole? Nah, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, lipstick. All right, that that's pretty. That's pretty good looking now. Uh, no need for blush. Yep, she goes red. Body. One's obviously, one's gonna be slight off. God damn, what, what did they, why did she have an ass like that? Oh, we're gonna make a real jacked. They're both gonna be real jacked. Chest size. It's type one, type two, type three. I think type two. Body markings. Oh, these are you can add like lower body tattoo. Man, they're that that those are a bit much. Wait. Arm size huge. Leg size. All right, let's uh, put a close back on. Not like you're gonna see much of it anyway. Uh, play. <laughs> Well, one's gonna have two, one's gonna have one. And it just so happens that she has two. Alright, that's one done.
Um, see, aging. These preset hairs are pretty alright actually. I was thinking if I give her this hair, but then make it like dark, maybe. This one just looks like she's got a dead animal on her. Hmm. Hairstyle, base hair. What the hell is this? Whoa! Oh, the, the slick back? But give- Oh! But give her- Oh! Oh, this is some- This is some editing right there. Alright. Give her like the- um, what does this remind me of? Is this like Rufus Shinra? Hair tips one. My right, color. Oh, she looks way better than the other one now. God damn. Alright, uh, face. Eyes. Not eyes. Irises and pupils. So, if I'm not mistaken... Is this? Maybe? Alright, um, green, right, blue, left. Uh, green, left, blue, right. Yep, hell yeah. Um, make them like slightly different, you know. Uh, she has like a permanent like frowny mouth, maybe. No, I know who she looks like. She's Virgil. The Virgil hair. Oh, you know what? What if I give this girl Dante hair? What's what, what's Dante hair gonna be like? Um, so it's like not completely long, but not completely short either. Something like this. That's pretty good. The fucking Dante and Virgil. All right, uh, eyeliner. Go for. Uh, Oh, but they're both jacked to the gills, though. Of course they are. Arm size is huge. And, um, like, size ki kind of huge, but not super, not, not, like, gigantic. Options. Ranking? View ranking to download character creation code. Oh, is that going to be like some sus shit here? I hope not. But god damn, these, these, these two girls are badass. No real sus shit going on. Why are these guys ranked one? What's so special about this, this one? Cool. Uh, type one. Great. Comparison mode. View your veiled edges side by side. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. 
That's pretty cool. Alright, final, final setting. I will pursue these characters. As a swordsmith pol polishes the blade, so does, so too does a bladesmith sharpen the veiled edges in their charge. Choose a blade sharpening origin to determine the veiled edges' initial abilities and special skills, as well as the weapons they which they excel. Killer. Breaker. Seducer. Sapper. Beginner or unsharpened. Learn the way of the Veiled Edge passed down for generations. Cut those who stand in your way and strike fear into the enemies. Recommended weapon sword, sword, and spear? Why there's two swords? Rec uh, learn the art of ninjutsu to completely hi complete highly dangerous mission. Train and utilize in utilizing various equipment and can assassinate multiple enemies at once. Uh, recommend a weapon, two swords, and gun. Learn the art of being charismatic and charming. Efficient and practice moves movement will allow for efficient key usage. And you'll also be very clever with words to deceive people. Get liar. Sapper. Uh, learn a wide range of knowledge uh, required for a spy. A adapt in handling firearms and medicinal practices. Medical practices, I mean. And also excels at negotiation. We feel med medicinal pills. There we go. That's medicinal. Recommended weapons. Uh, hmm. Is that a cutlass and a spear? Novice with a wide range of skills at their disposal. Hmm. Because of the unfinished nature of their training, these veiled edges are full of possibility. Um. Oh no. It's like the wasted skin. We are taking killer. Kill us, nice. Oh, I didn't do her nails. I didn't do Virgil's nails. Damn. No, my, my, my veiled edges are not called Dante and Virgil, even though it'd be really funny if they were. Select character. Well, I guess we'll start as Dante. Uh, entry unlocked. Blade Twin Encyclopedia. Oh God. Strength mid air counter spark. Oh God. Okay. Arch archive village one. One half of a veiled. Edge, a twin warrior uh, unit specially trained by the Kurosu clan to oppose the Shogunate overlord. It was their family when their native village was raised by Shogunate spies. Together with their blade twins, they were taken by the bladesmith, a veteran warrior. Well, there's two. Alright, same one, bladesmith. An old lady, real name and origin unknown. unknown. Trains veiled edge warriors uh, for the Kurosu clan. Re re rescued the protagonists. And their blade twin. Wait, did I just pick my Veiled Edge 1 as my... Is Dante my proto-goddess now? Well, it's that, that's typical, isn't it? Chicken! Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Touch the banner. Equipment. Relationship. Uh, interacting with a veiled b edge banner will restore your health as well. Just be one day it can also cause defeated enemies to reappear. <coughs> it's oh, it's a bonfire. It's a bonfire. Where am I going? Here. Are we even dressed the same? Well, one's got like dark. One's in black, one's in blue. Killer, it's in Katana and Odachi. So I guess this is the. Oh, well, Katana. I means Japanese sword. Uh, normal attack, advancing attack, 
in charge attack. What's an Odachi? This is an Odachi. Feels good. Feels good. A few barrels. All right, we're Gucci. Very much so. Uh, oh, I can just change my origin here. No, 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 we're fine. We're fine. She and she R one and R three. Okay. Cool. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Harry is not in, not hitting blockers at the correct time. Oh, give me your stuff. I'm down left, right. Okay. Chicken. Ah, yes. I'm coming. Oh, R1 plus square triangle. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> No, I need to loot. Well, I guess the tutorial, like, you don't get to loot anything. Hmm, sneaky, sneaky. Not dawdling. Host, oh, and release. Okay. A oh, hold. Can we swim? What is that? What is that going? Shell. <sighs> Where is my oxygen meter? <sighs> my keys, my oxygen meter. Got it. A pretty cool way to raise the banner. Item replenished, so that's my Estus. My medicinal pills is my Estus. Cool. The frame rate suddenly dipped. <laughs> Uh, use a counter spark to, to deflect and neutralize an enemy attack. Will cause the enemy to be temporarily panicked. Okay. So it's like. So this is the parry. Very nice. So it's, it's a swing if it's not. You deflect the repeated enemies by using co of a combo using counter spark. But please note that deflecting one attack in a combo does not cause an enemy to become panicked. Yeah. 
best way to drain the key is to first reduce their maximum key. Panic enemies to counter sparks and then attack to significantly reduce their maximum key. Okay. Come on then. Ow. When the enemy's stance has been broken, fully deplete your enemy's key to break the stance. Oh, triangle, okay. Wiki wiki. Oh. Yeah, kick your ass. Swing. Yeah. You can switch controls between either Veiled Edge member at any time. What? Oh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome, being able to swap left and right. お前たちに新たな任を与える。今、アメリカのプロ船がヨコハマ沖に怒りを下ろしている。そのプロ船に忍び込み、船長のペルリが持つミッションを盗み出すのだ。そして、Sure. Why is my controller doing that? Um. Okay. Well, let's play the the, the straight man and um, don't question authority. Um. Sore de koso kakushi gata nada. Ware ra wa itsu ka kitaru beki. クロスハンと徳川目の戦のために存在する。これは判明失敗は許される。黒船と向かう覚悟は良いか。うーん、not I would greatly like to to change my appearance after, you know. Photo mode. If not, it's fine. We'll. If I'm not able to change my appearance, it's fine. Nothing else here. Door. Change face. Our bedroom? Change race? Nope. Alright, I guess we're, uh, we're moving forward then. Time to go kill them stinking Americans. Man. Maybe it won't bug me. 
Alright. Ah, uh, continue here. Yeah, very. Yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I am ready. Let's get out of here. So I am not gonna lie, I went ahead and looked online on if I can edit my characters afterwards, and you can. So we are sticking with these two idiots. For now. Dante's still the main character. She's red hair, got red hair girl, so we're good. What was the goal again? To kill the um, to kill the, the commander? God damn, they look cool. Let's we'll stick to. Oh, we should have picked Virgil. Wait, what? What was that? Oh. Okay. Equipment. All right, weapon, armor, and accessories are equipped on the specific slots. Weapon and armor have their own stat aptitude. So equip them. Uh. Equip items that are suited to your skills to get the most out of them. L2 for stat aptitude. Save a load combat thing. Gotcha. Well, we've got the uh, got the small sword and the big sword. Oh, hats! <laughs> Sorry, I got too excited for the hats. Well, I don't think we got anything at the moment, so. Alright, there's two of them. Why is she losing stamina so quickly? Lock on, switch targets. Lock on to an enemy to make fighting easier. You'll be able to see the enemy's health and key. Gotcha. Oh! Yes, yes, of course. Of course, there's two of us. Enemy types. Different enemy, different types of enemies can be identified by different overhead icons. Normal. Oh, shit. The cough is coming. I need some water. Okay, a normal enemy and formidable foe. Some formidable foes function as leaders. After you take out the leader, they will no longer reappear. Oh, okay. So they're mini bosses. Gotcha. Huh? Oh. God damn it. Ow. Oh, his, his head! Oh, his arm! Wow! Killed a bunch of people here. Those two guys, there's no chance. Also, what is that, like, little bar I see on my sword? Is that durability? God, I hope there isn't durability in this game. I hate durabilities. All right, there we go. Move. Assassinating enemy. Crouch and lightly tilt to walk silently. In triangle. Note you may not be able to assist, ass uh, assassinate formidable foes in one fell swoop. 
Oh, he's a formidable foe. Oh! Okay. All right. All right. If nobody got me, I know Virgil got me. That's pretty sick. Then the two of them, like, the two of them, like, do, like, stealth kills together. What is that? What is that? What is that? Wait. It's a body. Did that body fly down from the top? Did it clip through the... Uh, that's pretty funny if it did. Put that sword away. He's got a gun! Deflecting gunfire and others' weapons will temporarily set your weapon ablaze. Oh, okay. Oh! Obtain rifle? Rifle noisy but enable powerful atta uh, attacks at range. Ready and shoot. Alright. The lock on's pretty aggressive. Right, we're fighting. Oh, yo, 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 I, I know I know it's a game I know I know you don't, you don't clip through your your uh, sister's IRL but come on um oh we are not doing great for health maybe it's time to uh Use that bonfire here. Hmm. You can use your grappling rope as a weapon when locked onto an enemy. Okay. God damn. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, his hand. His hand and his head. Jesus Christ. Put that sword away. I keep hitting R2 to like run by mistake. Alright. Can I open this? Does it do like a Dark Souls door open? 
Yeah. Yeah, it does. Does it mean we're back at the front? What is this place? Oh, that, that doesn't look right. Saber. For taking new equipment, select equipment for the start menu to equip or switch a primary melee sub long range weapon. Got, got you. I don't like the look of that. But it's... Do I hold it like a katana? No, I use it like a, like a saber. Um... I don't like that. But I will have the saber here instead of the Uchi Katana. Instead of the uh, the big the big one. So I have like these two. We'll stick to the regular katana. Maybe a little heal up. Warp. What is this? Move to a different banner. Okay. So there's quick travel. Gotcha. Gotcha video game. Okay. Fire bombs. Pressure him. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Very nice. Oh, there's another teleport point here. What? You're dead. Holy shit. Can I open this? Hell yeah, I can. Healing elixir. Alright, got you. Look, I know the game wants me to go there, which means that I... I have to check if I have the key for that first. Maybe I do. So what's down here then? Or do you turn away? Indeed he does. Can't be too, can't be too careful, we gotta... 
Holds your angles around the corner. American rifle. I'll put the healing elixir here. USA, USA. Engine room. Wait. Was this not where we fought those idiots? Yeah. When did this become open then? Or was this always open and we just didn't notice? Oh, cool ninja slides. Cool, fantastic. Yeah. It's real easy to get me in the game. Just give me a cool ninja slide. Team Paris report. Um, ooh, okay. In press square to view combat style. That's like skill points and stuff. Encyclopedia. Wait, so where do I find that Perry report thing? Oh my god. Huh? I'd like to read it. Blackened Silver Saber. Why is it just not as good? Oh, here we go. Oh, god damn. He's got a red coat. Coat Cape. Enemy martial skill to avoid. Um, and oh, to avoid the martial skill of enemies and enveloped by murderous aura, you have to rely on perfectly timed counter spark deflection. Cannot be blocked, so dodge, dodge or run. <laughs> Ow! 
Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, Jesus. Fire sword. Fuck you, Perry. Oh, out. Get him. Shit. Oh shit, okay. It's got cool hand your mask, god damn it. Lift loose. As playable cat whoa Whoa Okay Live and take the secret choose as protagonist Oh Dante and Virgil Right we we'll give you Dante Oh, her hand! Oh, and that's why she gets a robot hand in the opening. Hiroyuki Sonata? <laughs> well, that's taken a turn for the... Uh, for the more exciting. I thought this was gonna be a two a two player game. Come on. Well, When I say two player, I mean like, of course, two proto goddess. God damn, she's really gonna become Virgil. So, what about my Blade Twin now? So now I'm the proto goddess. And my Blade Twin is Virgil. Matthew Perry. It's the guy from Friends, isn't he? The United States. Mount Fuji. There it is. 
uh, we might in 1707 a huge volcanic eruption burst on Mount Fuji raining ash upon Edo for t over 10 days my dream is to climb it and climb it one day I shall wait my village is on fire Blade Flash. Oh. Okay, wasn't expecting you to go this this south that quickly, huh? Shuriken can be thrown con uh, quickly and consecutively. Die, dog. This is a pickle, isn't it? Strong. Wait, how is he not dead? The Shogun? Wait, I didn't kill him? Yeah, you better die. I knew these tall grasses would, would have some use. Why does he waddle like that? You don't really get much from like killing enemies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna like sit down for a bit, Blade Master. I 
だ。Not ready for two of them. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Tony Kizito Hamonuke Katawari Osas Tumorida. I took it. What is your book? Tell us, let up. Wait, me? Wait, why me? Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, was I gonna go look for my sister? Ow. Oh, I miss timing this so bad. Sorry. Sorry, Grandma. Um, the red fingernails are really, really, really making it weird. Anyway, rip in peace, Grandma. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I'll take her scarf and wear two scarves. She's still alive? Oh yeah, two scarves. Ta 
怪獣の抜け道を使え幕府の御水の者の囲いを抜けられよう行け Now go let the legend come back to life I can't believe we、uh, killed the old lady. Oh, cherry blossoms. In、oh. One year later. Play title card? Yeah. Very late title card. Very much appreciated, though. There's a trophy. You've obtained a material. Use materials and apothecaries to craft remedies, stones, and some other stat and status altering items. Cool. The bridge to Yokohama. I met Yokohama. Granted, when I, was, when I was at Yokohama, it didn't look like this. I'll take that. Bamboo sheath. Alright. How far back can we go? That's it. So. Cool. Stairs. Convenient. Um. Is this game open world? Rabbit! You got lucky. Event. Gesture. Great. Oh, God, it is open world. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's huge. I better get a horse. <laughs> 